What's up guys, it's Prosper here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about my 8 steps of video editing. Before we waste a lot of time, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do after shooting is backing up your footage. And you need to make sure you have at least two separate hard drives that you back up your footage in. Just in case anything might happen to your first backup, you have a second backup to cover you up. And the other thing you always need to remember when backing up is your filing system, especially the folder that you'll be editing on. Everything from your footage to your sound, to your score, your sound effects, every element that you use when editing needs to be in one folder. So for me, I have a hierarchy of folders that I create and I have a template that I use for my, for my editing process. I hope I can share that with you one day. And this also comes in handy when you have to switch machines or you have to edit on a different machine. You can easily just plug and go. So remember when you download any element, any footage or anything that you're going to use in your editing process, just store it in the same folder where everything is. So you need to make sure you have a system that you can follow all the time that you edit so that it becomes easier for you to store and find footage. So step number two is selecting your footage and selecting of course your music. And this depends with the kind of project that you're working on. Sometimes you need to use all the footage that you shot and sometimes you might not need to use all the footage that you shot. So depending on the project that you're working on, you might need to select the clips that you certainly know you're going to use. And in some cases, you need all the footage. Let's say you shot a wedding, you might need all the footage that you shot. So just import everything into Premiere Pro and you are ready to go. The other thing that may come in handy when importing your footage is, is the filing system that we spoke about in step one. When you have a filing system that's organized, it's easy for you to import footage, especially when using all the footage that you shot. What you simply do is just import the whole folder and everything is coming in the way you saved it. So this makes your whole process much more easier and much more faster when importing your footage. And the other thing that we're going to talk about in this step is selecting your music. If you've edited before, you know selecting a track is one of the hardest things that you can do in editing. I mean, selecting a track may take more time than the actual editing process. There are different sites that you can go on to find your, your track depending on your budget and depending on the project that you're working on. So some sites are paid for, some sites are free and terms and conditions are different when, when, when you are selecting your music. So it just depends on the kind of project that you're working on or what kind of soundtrack you need. Step number three is importing your footage in your editing software. This would depend with the kind of filing system you have and the footage that you need to work on. So like in step two, you might need to import all the footage or just import footage that you're going to use. This just depends on, your, on the project that you're working on. Step number four is cutting and trimming and aligning all your footage. So Basically, this is the editing process. This is the fun part where you get to edit and cut, trim, slow things down. I did a video before where I shared the tools that I use when editing in Adobe Premiere Pro just to make my editing process faster and easier. I'll just leave the link here so you can check it out if you haven't watched it before. So step number four is where you do the whole cutting and trimming and slowing things down just to make, make your sequence flow. Step number five is sound design and this is one of the most important steps when editing because your sound constitutes about 50% of your edit. And if your sound is bad, your whole video is bad. You can have these beautiful shots and these creative shots, but when your sound doesn't sound great, your whole video is ruined. So you need to make sure everything sit well in your levels. So you just need a little bit of knowledge on, on sound, basically. You can find tutorials here on YouTube, or if you want, maybe sometime we can talk about that topic of audio, because audio is very important when editing, and audio is one of the most important things 
in your video. Step number six is applying your video effects. So this may be your warp stabilizer, your horizontal flip, your vertical flip, any effect that you need to apply to your video. These may be visual effects as well. So video effects come a little bit after everything is done because they eat up your processing power. So you need to apply video effects after your edit is laid up, your timeline is laid up, your sequence is laid up. So you would want to slow things down before your actual edit is logged in. Step number seven is color correction and color grading. So there's a difference between color correction and color grading. Color correction is simply correcting your colors. So this, this may be adding contrast, adding saturation, and so on. Color grading, on the other hand, is when you bring a certain mood, a certain feeling with colors. So this is where you do your stylized look or when you add a certain vibe to your colors to make it look a certain way. And this is my favorite part of editing when I then bring the colors and add more life to the video. So you see that there are certain layers that you go through when editing from, this, from step one to step seven to just make your whole editing process comprehensive. And after that, this moves us to the last step, which is step number eight, and this is exporting your video. So you need to know the requirements of the platform that you're exporting your video on just before you export your video. And this will help you know the format that you need to deliver and export your video in. So that's it on my eight steps of video editing. If you're new to this channel, you can just hit the subscribe button and watch out for more content like this. If you have any other questions or any other suggestions, you can hit me up in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer.